But listen. Yes. You know, I, I could, you know, and it, it's so, I'm so glad that you're here. Bec- and I don't know why we haven't done this soon. I'll be honest. Yeah. I don't know why we didn't do this sooner. Right. Mm-hmm. Because I feel like you and I could do this mm-hmm. for hours. Sparks will fly. I see the bags under your eyes, yeah. right? They formed while we were here. <laughs> <laughs> they did. It wasn't here before? No, they weren't here. No, no his bags just going... <laughs> <laughs> because of him, you know, I mean, all the excess baggage, just yeah. feeling, you know, emotional oh. about, you know, I mean, some of the things. Yeah. yeah. Right. But at the end of the day, mm-hmm. I tell you another thing you did for me. Yeah. When I went to New York, you called Esty from the comedy cellar. Yep. And you said, see Bobby Lee. You set yeah. up a showcase for me and she saw me on a Friday. I did good. Yeah. She passed me. But like I can, I would only go to someone like you. For those kind of favors, because I know that you'll actually pull through for me. And um, at the end of the day, uh, you could be in my top five of all time in comedy. People, can I've you met. go to your MySpace? Yes, yep. MySpace page. Yeah. Top from yeah. the top. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so um, that you know, that's I do do want to throw that out. But next time you have a job and you think you want, I I I'm, I should be in it. Yes. Get me the job first and then tell me. Yes, I agree with that. Okay, okay, thank I think you. that yeah. Look, and I agree with that. I think that there are things that. I could have done better personally because I think when you're when you're given the opportunity, the green light or whatever, you just reach out to people. You, yeah. Again, you have a deep affection for and go, oh my God, I, I'd love to include you. But then the business comes into play with it and yeah. then you realize, oh, it's not as easy as just I doing know, but that, I don't know? think that I'm, and I'll, I'll, I'll be honest with you, just to defend myself, I don't think I'm that tough of a sell. You are. No, I'm joking. No, because people have, like, you know, I was on Spilling Up Together, this ABC show. I didn't yes. test. I didn't audition. They just gave it to me. Right. right. So I know how people in power feel about me. Mm-hmm. I've been in many situations like that. I just want to defend myself. Right. Yeah. So I, I, you know, I'm just want to say that, you know, I don't think I'm a that big of a sell. So, but I know that there are political things that I'm not privy to, that, that I'm not going to take personally anymore, and just I will do whatever with you. I would yeah. at, to the end of my life. If you want to do something with me, I'll fucking right. do it. I'll memorize my lines. I'll be on fuck it. I'll show up and we'll do it. Sure. All right. And um, let's just bury the hatchet with everything. Okay. I don't ever want to say it again. Okay. In other podcasts. Yeah. We're ending it now. Okay. Whatever. Because there's a lot of purity yeah. and goodness yeah. that comes from you. Okay? Yeah. I mean, I haven't talked about you at all, but you're the one that talks about me. But, so when you're saying we, we bury the hatchet, it, you bury the hatchet. <laughs> you bury it. You did it. Okay, let me <laughs> rephrase. This is the screen cap of the- Oh, let me rephrase that. <laughs> you bear the hatchet. And, and this is what it is, okay? Yes. I. You could have just let it go at that. <laughs> right? I could have said we bury the hatchet, right? Yeah. Right. And then we could have just moved on to the next thing, right? Yeah. But then you had to add in, right? You bury it. I don't. You bury like, the hatchet. I, I know. Whatever. Like, that's what it sounds like. Okay, but you bury the hatchet. Where, 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 where have you ever been? Where you're like, word on the street is Burns talking shit on. Like, where is that? No, where, because you that? have more of a Rat Pack style. That of, has like, never happened. Kinship. But I don't. You're like Sebastian Maniscalco in that way. You guys have a, like a real like. Huh? No, you I do. Keep, I, I just keep to myself. Like Rat Pack. Like the Rat Pack. Like a team. Yeah. yeah they're they don't you know I mean you don't rat your friends out you know like, like a mafia, mafia stuff yeah. right he yeah. has those things and I'm the guy that dies five minutes He's into the mafia Pesci. movie <laughs> right Joe I get Pesci. stabbed yeah. a thousand times by a pencil <laughs> Joe Pesci <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean just in the first five minutes of the movie that's yeah. how yeah you know, because I'm a talker yeah. and I'm a coward mm. right but <laughs> yeah. you know you know I'm okay yeah but let's just bury it now we, I'll, I'll bury the hatchet okay since you didn't you don't have a hatchet <laughs> right? I, I'll I, bury I, the hatchet yeah. I'll bury it for life okay and then you and I can move on yes right but you know, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking watch it, dude. Because I'm not afraid, dude. You know, you know, you know I love you, though. That's why you're here. We, we, we. You know I love you. No, listen, you have. You do know that, correct? That's I, why you you're fucking in my fucking house. I will vouch for the fact that he does get especially triggered by you because I think he has a deeper love for you than he has for, compared to other people. Because when he had, you guys had that weird thing at the comedy store, you came back home crying. Yeah. And you don't cry about people. That's how it hurt me. I'm not I'm not making it up. Right, right. Yeah, these are things that I get really down about. Right. And I and I it really affects me. It hurts. Right. I suffer. But to be fair, it you shouldn't air it out on the podcast if, if it's true. invited. <laughs> well, he's not. <laughs> a weasel. A weasel. <laughs>